Hi all and welcome to Omnilabs. I'm Kenneth. Comstats went live about a week ago. The team behind Comstats have been working really, really hard to bring us in the community an amazing tool. And this is Omnilabs' first look at that tool. Let's dive in. Before we get into the nitty gritty of using Comstats, let's have a little talk about what Comstats is first. See, Comstats serves as a central hub for all verified data and analytics concerning Commune AI. See, the goal here is to make information accessible and allowing you, me, the whole community to easily navigate through various matrices. Currently, users can do normal transfers, they can select validators, they can delegate Com AI, they can stake and you can unstake. But Comstats is working towards covering everything from tokenomics to modules to validators to miners to bridging to swapping, everything and all of that in a one-stop shop. I really like that. <laughs> and they will be doing all of this utilizing the Polka.js wallet so they can manage everything in a non-custodial way. Now this bit here, this bit here is really important information. Comstats charges zero fees for any of these features. If you do see any fees applied for, for example, when you're staking, this is up to the people running that validator and not up to Comstats. There's a really big difference there. Comstats keeps updating quickly and they will keep adding more and more features nearly on a weekly basis. Fantastic. And for those of you familiar with TauStats, you might see some similarities between Comstats and TauStats because Comstats aims to be as comprehensive as Taosat, but focused on Commune AI, of course. Comstats works directly with the Polka.js wallet Chrome extension. So if you have that already set up, you're good to go. But if you don't, you can stop this video, take a quick look at this guide first, and then come back and join us in this video. And remember, you can import any existing Commune AI wallet into your Polka.js extension if you need to. All you need is the seed phrase for that wallet. We are going to start by importing a seed phrase. Enough talk, let's get on with it. Open your browser and then open up the Polka.js extension. Now click on the little orange plus symbol and then import account from pre-existing seed. Paste or write your seed phrase. Make sure that you have selected allow to use on any chain. That should be pre-selected for you. And when you're done, click on next. Enter a description for the wallet. Now this is good to do if you have many wallets so you can actually tell them apart. Fill in your password, repeat the password and click on add the account with a supplied seed. Now that we have a wallet in the extension, let's connect that wallet to Comstats. Click on connect wallet now you can see here in the corner that the extension is waiting to be authorized. You can see here that it is Comstats requesting access. Now just click yes, allow this application access. You can verify that it is the same wallet if you want to. Just open up the polka.js extension and check that the address corresponds with the selected wallet, which it should. Click on connect now and nothing happened. And you can see up here why. Before you click on connect now, you need to first select the wallet. So select the wallet, you can see that it's selected now, and click connect now again. Now it's connected. Now let's move on to some of the cool features as well. Scrolling down the page, you can find statistics related to Comstat's own validator. And from here, you can manage stake on that validator. And you can also transfer funds. Let's start with that. Click on transfer funds. And as always, if you feel the need to, you can verify that the wallet address is correct in the polka.js extension. Now, paste in the address that you want to send to, enter the amount, click transfer com AI, type in your password, sign the transaction, and there you go. Click on manage stake, here you can see the name of the validator, total stake, how many stakers, and APY. And you can also see if there's any fee applied when staking. And as you can see, there is none. Enter the amount that you want to stake, and you can see here what we are doing. In this case, we're adding stake. So click on stake, com AI. Now enter the password for your wallet, and click on sign a transaction. 
And here we can see that we have stake 2, AI. If you go back down to manage stake and click on that again, now you can see that we have two more options than we had before. We also have transfer stake and unstake now. So let's begin with unstaking. If you click on unstake, that selects the action that you want to do. Now you fill in the amount and you click on unstake AI. You enter the password and sign a transaction. And remember, you will always be notified with notifications up here when you're done. So when you interact with the extension, the page will always update your balance for you automatically. And now you can see that we're back to zero state com AI because we just unstaked what we had. Now scroll down the page and pick one of the verified validators from the list. I'm going to pick uh, com chat, that one looks good. And then I'm going to click on delegate. And because we have not staked towards this validator before, we only have one option, add stake. Now we're going to stake two com AI. You can of course enter the amount that you want to stake. And once you have entered the amount, click stake com AI, enter your password and then sign the transaction. And wait for the update of your balance. And here we go. So let's scroll back down the page again to where the com chat validator is or the one that you picked. Now click on delegate. Now we can see here that we have stake two com AI to this validator. Time to transfer the stake to a different validator. So click on transfer stake. In this case, we want to transfer back to the comstats validator and that one's already pre-selected for us. You can also select one from the list or just type the name if you know it. Now select the validator that you want to transfer to, enter the amount that you want to transfer and then click on transfer com AI. Enter your password and sign the transaction. Nice and easy. And your balance updates, but it will look the same as we are still staking the same amount as we did before. We just transferred it to a different validator, so we're still staking to Com AI. And there we go. That's a brief overview of Comstats. Now there will be more updates and tutorials regarding Comstats, so don't forget to stay tuned and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on those. We also had a quick talk with Krishna D from the Comstats team. Great guy, nice to talk to and he was really good with the details about the project. Thank you for that my friend. Now if you need any help with anything regarding Comstats, just reach out to the team. You can find them on Commune AI's Discord, they have their own chat there. Or you can just DM them on Twitter. So that's all for now. See ya!